Brendan on Fox News. Brendan on Fox fucking news, man. Let's do Brendan on Fox News. I thought this was fucking hilarious. I'm sure most of you have already seen this already. But I thought Brendan on Fox News was one of the greatest things I've ever seen in my entire life. So, do some of you guys think this is all maybe a little bit too convenient? He's been milking the fuck out of this fucking TRX truck crash thing, right? So maybe I'm a bit conspiratorially minded, but I feel like this is all kind of a bit of a rollout and a plan for something. I don't know what in particular, but he seems to be really enjoying the attention he's getting from the truck flip, even though the truck flip makes him look more redacted because he flipped a truck from a what stationary position from just turning it left and putting his foot on the fucking throttle. He fucking flipped his truck and having no understanding of suspension, having no understanding of drifting, having no understanding of traction control, he fucking flipped it and basically ripped off his truck that he spent a lot of money on through just pure human error. Anyway, this is Brendan on Fox News talking about it. It's kind of redacted, but look at how happy he is. Look at how happy he is to have the attention on him again. Um, I don't know if he's happy about the attention or if he's happy that he's talking to a blonde white lady who he would like to take for a drug walk. Either way, he couldn't stop smiling throughout the entire thing. It's kind of embarrassing. Out for an episode of your uh, YouTube show uh, called Toontown. So tell us. <laughs> she has to look down. She didn't remember the name. Uh, Toontown. One more time. I love the look down. Out for an episode of your uh, YouTube show uh, called Toontown. Toontown. So tell us what happened. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, what happened was. Come on, Brendan, man. Fucking hell. Be a little bit subtle with the blushing. <laughs> He's loving it, bro. He's imagining slipping that fucking Fox News presenter out of that little dress, pinning her fucking curls back, right? He's fucking bitching her, isn't it? Like, <laughs> fucking hell. Look at him blushing. What happened? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, what happened was, is, uh, again, you know, you get the truck to a certain point where, you know, it, it's ready to go. I didn't want it to be a... The lights go off in the studio. <laughs> he's such an amateur guy. The lights went off in the studio. I think he's got one of those lights that's like, um, what do you call it? It's got sensors in it, right? So if someone moves for a particular amount of time, it just automatically turns off. The lights went off, in it? The lights turned off. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Look at the lights turn off in the studio. What happened was, is uh, again, I, you know, you get the truck to a certain point where, <laughs> you know, it, it's ready to go. I <laughs> didn't want to be a, a street princess. So, you know, I, I'm doing what's intended to do. Take it off-roading. And, uh, you know. By the way, is that a term in, in, truck, in, in car world? Street princess. Is that a term for a car? I don't want to be a street princess. I never heard that term before. Street princess. What does that mean? No, yeah, we spent the whole day there. And then as you can tell, uh, you know, in the video, you know, we had the GoPro on. Uh, I did a sharp turn and just the power got out from underneath me. And next thing you know. I love how he lies with the video playing side by side. It's not a sharp turn. He comes to a stop. He turns the steering wheel and then puts his foot on the foot on the throttle. What does he expect to happen? <laughs> he's literally stationary then he turns his steering wheel then puts his foot on the throttle i don't even drive i don't even have a fucking license and i know if you do that with a fucking pickup truck especially when that's been raised it's gonna fucking flip <laughs> it's pretty basic isn't that fucking physics science b science begs right? the differ science says it lowers your testosterone you know, you know the the entire Tire truck flip so uh pretty scary oh man and you got out of that truck so fast and thank god you were able to do that and it <laughs> he's already thinking i could do a lot of things fast baby i could do a lot of things fast baby like, you got out of that truck so fast <laughs> oh my god so fast it clearly has a good alarm system because the woman's voice was telling you get out of the car get out of the car what was i just i wanted to be that alarm system i wanted to warn you baby going through your head when this was happening uh, <laughs> look at brendan he's fucking blushing <laughs> 
Yo, I've never seen this guy smile this much. He doesn't even smile this much at his kids' fucking baseball games. He is fucking blushing hard. Look how happy he is. Honestly, this woman has got him fucking... She's got him mesmerized. This little fox lady. Look at him. Look at the smile. <laughs> Through your head when this was happening. Did someone say head? <laughs> uh, it felt like slow motion. As I'm turning over, I just remember thinking to myself, like, you idiot. You know, because... <laughs> You know, I've been a car guy since I was 16. I've never had a car that I didn't modify. So I've always been into Press X to that. Again, I don't... Why do you need to lie like this? I've never had a car that I didn't modify since I was 16 years of age. Always been a gearhead. Why lie? Why don't just say, I've been... I've recently got into cars. I'm really passionate about it. I love modding cars. It's really fun to fix them up and change things and whatnot just say why do you have to lie and say i've been into cars since i was six like really since you were 16 you were into fucking modding trucks and shit really or did you just start doing it like it's no it's no shame to be like hey i just started going into when i had more money that's that's what you're meant to do the more money you get you're meant to spend more of that money in the things that you enjoy doesn't matter if you like to go to fucking street food festivals or go to the theater you're meant to do more of the things that you enjoy with the more disposable income you start to make not just lie and say, I've always been into this. No, you haven't. You got into it more because you got money. That's all right. To that. And, you know, now that I'm older, I can afford to, to modify the car even more. That's and the truth. Even more. That's the truth. I went over the top with this with this truck. So, yeah. you know, it's about over 1,100 horsepower. Oh, have you noticed that? He pronounced truck like a truck. So I think he's conscious not to say any chauvinisms. Big up Uche. Appreciate it, babes. I was watching Comedy Central and a Thix Boy Studios commercial came on. I just sent it to you on Discord. No way. No way. Let me, let me, uh, no fucking way. There's a Thick Boy commercial on Comedy Central. No way. You're lying. <laughs> Yo, if you're Will Sasso, are you a bit annoyed about this? Why are they using Will Sasso in the promo? Why are they using Will Sasso in the promo? Wouldn't you be a little bit annoyed by that? Let's play it one more time. One more time. One more time. Big up Uche. Thank you for sending this. One more time. Oh, it's a podcast one app. It's, I think it's a podcast one ad as well. I think podcast one are the ones that made it. There's a little podcast one logo at the bottom there. I'm not sure if you guys seen it. <laughs> wow, look at the free shows, the free trifecta T Fat K, the Shorb Show, and the Golden Hour. Wow. I wonder if this is something to do with the show not making enough money maybe podcast one are trying to get back their investment and they're like look we have to make something fucking shake let's put this ad out and try and get the numbers back up again because something's not working have you ever have you maybe since i don't i don't really have a i don't have a tv have you guys seen podcast adver advertisement on your tv before have you seen like a pod being advertised on your tv i don't think i've ever seen one ever i've seen maybe a podcast host in a commercial but I don't think I've seen a podcast advertisement on TV. Never. Z. Joel says never as well. Not a day in my life. Wow, man. Because again, I don't, I'm not too sure with a... With a I don't sure how, Let's see. Podcast one stock. Let's see what it's trading for. Let's go... Let's do six months. Oof. The highest was 316. 31st of October. And now it's at what? 248. Lowest was... 151 in fucking december so that stock has been plummeting in it the last six months or so so they need all the help that they, they can get really jesus christ so that might explain why they, they're fucking doing this ad 
That might be the reason why. But don't you find it funny how redacted some of these companies are? Don't you find it funny that instead of focusing on trying to make the show better, instead of trying to get them better guests, instead of trying to maybe give them some notes, because I feel like Brendan and Brian could use some notes for the podcast in terms of staying on topic, not rambling, not bickering, not letting each other finish the sentences, especially Brendan. Instead of doing those things to actually improve the quality of the show, they go and put some money behind an advert, which probably cost them a lot of money to have on TV. Because ads probably don't cost a lot of money to make, but to have them run on TV, on cable, oof, it probably costs a lot of fucking money, which could probably be better spent to improve the show, you know? Pretty quiet, pretty fucking wild. But big up Uche, I appreciate you. That's fucking great to see. Lowell's man I just love it how they, they they put Will Sasso clip in that in that fucking sizzle roll sizzle reel whatever when when's the last time Will Sasso has been under firing a kid four years ago five years ago he doesn't even mention him anymore he doesn't talk about Brian he doesn't talk about Chris he basically acts like they don't exist ever since those allegations came when that went out he completely removed himself from those from those guys he doesn't talk about them in the slightest so using will sasso in that thing is really disingenuous because they're not they're clearly not friends anymore or at least they don't get in each other's podcast anymore so um yeah exactly yeah you're yeah, you free to say you to the show so that's a weird way to promote the show it's like those aren't really your guests though in it those aren't really the level of guests you get but yeah big up uche i appreciate you that was fucking brilliant that was fucking brilliant Pick up Uche, our on the spot, on the streets, right? On the fucking front line reporter, right? Did you, did, did you guys hear Uche giggling in the background? <laughs> Uche gave Brendan a fucking giggle. Brendan's Uche's favorite stand up comedian. She couldn't stop laughing. She was like, hey, Brendan. <laughs> <coughs> oh, let's get back to the clip. Let's get back to the clip. Let's get back to the clip. Let's see fucking Brendan. Let's see another person who can't help giggling at the sight of a attractive person. Let's see Brendan here giggling at this news presenter. Woman's voice was telling you, get out of the car, get out of the car. What was going through your head when this was happening? Uh, this is Uche's face when she, when she heard Brendan. That was Uche. Let's, uh, when Brendan came on the TV, like, oh my God, I recognize him. I know him. <laughs> That was Uche when she saw Brendan. <laughs> I love it. Big up Uche. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, it felt like slow motion. As I'm turning over, I just remember thinking to myself, like, you idiot. You know, because, you know, I've been a car guy since I was 16. I've never had a car that I didn't modify. So I've always been into that. And, you know, now that I'm older, I can afford to, to modify the car even more and trucks even more. I went over the top with this with this truck. So, yeah. you know, it's about over 1,100 horsepower. And I just remember thinking to myself, like, you, you got to learn to do this right. You know, I'm not an expert, not a professional. So, you know, I'm, I'm headed. I love the I love the I love the self-deprecation thing he's doing. It's so fake, isn't it? I'm not an expert. Yeah, you are. In your head, you think you are. Come on, Brendan. You know you think you are. Down a, a better road. After Brendan thinks he's fucking Jeremy, Jeremy Clarkson out here, bro. You know, after this, um, I've had some friends reach out. Matt Martelli, who owns the, the Mint 400, that we're, does professional truck my racing. Friend, my friend, So yeah. this kind of pushed me towards that, actually learning how to properly drive. So you crash your car, you flip it, through your own inability to drive and to know how to handle the power that you have and someone that owns a race sees that and is like you'd be perfect for my race who would do that who would recommend you to go and race cars and trucks when you just flipped one the other day in uh that doesn't, doesn't make any sense really i like the pros and uh so i've been you know getting some actual training on uh off-roading and driving these powerful trucks because you know these trucks and cars have never been faster more powerful so totally. it's important that you know you kind of take the proper time to to learn to actually handle these beasts how can you say that now that you flipped it this is stuff that you should have said before what a weird interview 
Uh, that's good advice. And Brendan, the good news is, is that I watched this whole video, the the one of you, this episode of of Toontown. And I, be, I bet he's smiling again. I watched this whole video. She's like, "You saw me. You like me." Look, I bet he's smiling again. And I don't know a whole lot about cars, but I thought it was really entertaining. So it's a good show that you put out. The bad news is obviously is that you don't have your favorite car. Either. Oh, look at that smile! Look at that little lick. We got Angel Ranger. Appreciate you. Look at that little lick. Didn't mean to sound bitchy. B Streamlabs turns my emojis into S. All love, bro. You know that. BTW Bopper not following the NJ Ranger style guide to not look at babes like a cut. <laughs> like a cartoon wolf, no matter how awuga inducing. Sad. Many such cases. Yeah. Look at that. Honestly, look at that. He's imagining that woman naked. You cannot say he's imagining that woman naked. He wants to lick her out. He wants to lick her fucking armpit. He wants to put his fucking tongue in her fucking eye. He wants to put his finger in her fucking ass. Like, he is thinking of everything, every possible. Look at him. Look. Have you ever seen Brendan look at anyone like that? What's up, baby girl? Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> what's up, man? My, what's that? My neck. What's that? What's that? Let me hold on. 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 This is what playing in this is what's playing in Brendan's head as he's looking at this lady, right? This is what's playing in his head. This is what's playing in Brendan's head. If you know, you know. This is what's playing in his head. This is what's playing in his head. That's what's playing in his head. That's what's playing in his head. That's what's playing in his head. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Go Brendan. Go Brendan. Go Papa. Go Papa. Go Papa. Go Papa. Go Papa. <laughs> you know that's what he's thinking. <laughs> Listening to what you. <sighs> he wants to be in those guts so badly. He wants to be fucking in those fucking guts. <sighs> <sighs> <coughs> oh man honestly i fucking love brendan man he's the fucking best he's the best he is the fucking best and big up fox news also for just knowing what works right getting these like smoke show women to present the news and get them to just like wrap these guys around their fingers makes for good shows you know what i mean look at him he's like you know what i mean he's loving it bro Either, but in that episode, uh, there was one moment that stood out to me where you got a little bit emotional. Let's listen to that. Anyway, you, you, you saw it. Anyway, you saw it, right? You saw it. You saw it. Done. Um, Brendan's loving it. Um, Fox News woman was playing him like a fiddle. He probably thought she wanted to suck his little minka. Um, you know, he probably jumped in the fucking DMs, probably quickly sent a follow probably liked all her fucking pictures online and shit he's really like I, d I don't do the analysis but i'm pretty sure he's following her i'm pretty sure he probably likes a lot of her pictures <laughs> ah, papa man you got a wife and kid at home man be careful bro chill out chill chill you need some papa needs to drink some water that's what he used to do drink some water drink some water deep breaths relax tranquilo you have a wife and kid at home man 